Right. So we're here to discuss learning capability. The, the, what, what is learning and what's learning capability? So we've got this graphic and maybe we should start with what do we mean by the learner? What do we understand as the learner? I think we must understand the people coming to us. Most of them come out of a system that has made them non-learners. They're coming, out, they're coming out of an environment where teaching is, is the thing that's happening. Many people arrive with the idea, I'm doing this to get to an examination, and after the examination, I'm going to get a degree or a diploma. And then I'll put it on the wall. This process says, you're not coming for that. You're coming to become a learner that will embody the learning and you're carrying it in your in yourself as a person. You're carrying it in your, your living and your competencies. The, the learner is the, the central player in the whole capability development. The identity and the individual is the first thing. And then uh, the relationships that person has which makes it possible and then you get to the knowledge and skills which in another model of learning would be regarded as the most important thing. I worked with an old doctor who got blind in the one eye and he couldn't put up a drip anymore because he can't find it yeah. and, and that was a really a seriously bad experience for him. He felt I'm now incompetent. Because he actually was shocked by his physical disability. Yeah. So he now felt he had lost really his competencies as a professional. I'm, much, I, I'm no longer helpful. I'm no longer that helpful. That was his word. Mm. Okay, so there you have a wonderful example of a highly skilled person who was in an instant reduced to feeling helpless. Mm. Okay. And what you have to do is to take that disruption mm. and then to help them restore mm. their self-confidence in the first mm -hmm. instance and then their abilities mm. with the disability. Mm. But it can become a disruptor that can help you learn. Mm. The disruptors of today that are going to get you into today's learning process are going to change. The disruptors in the future are going to be different. Yeah. So you have to have a process that can take you into the future. I, th I think this whole business of looking back at yourself and say, where am I, is sort of right throughout the process. You need reflection to know where am I going to start. You need reflection to know what is this disruption. Uh, and then you need reflection in the learning process. I had one postgrad student who came to our course where we concentrated on learning and not on teaching. And after three days, she stood up and said, look, I'm paying to be taught. I've not come here to work. So she left. She left the course because she wanted to be spoon fed and we had to work. She didn't have to work as a learner. Now, now that is because of the way she was at school and at university. And at postgraduate level, she still wasn't a learner. I think almost every human being, when they were small children, they were inquisitive and they were learning at a fantastic rate. And then that was destroyed in our educational system. So one way of looking at it is reawakening the thing that everybody started with as a child. But I think then as a facilitator of learning, to use the right term, because then it means you, you, you're all the time busy with two processes. You are learning yourself, Mm -hmm. and you're helping other people to learn. How do you, as a facilitator of learning, 
get somebody to go through this process? Where would you begin? And actually, you know, I think from our Where conversation, would, yeah, the yeah. starting point has to be the reaction. Because you have to start with their response. And, and what or I, your response. What I think of now is to say, where do you want to go? I mean, are you happy with it? Is this, is this your end point? Or do you actually want to improve this? So the facilitation lies in helping the person to understand what the power of the disturbance is mm. and, that and where it's coming mm. from yeah. before you can go on to learning. And that, and that disruption is often in relation to the person, to the yeah. self, and in relation to that embodiment and the relationships and where you function. And I think if what you say is if we can help the learner to understand the disruption in terms of the competence and the embodiment for where they are, that, that would then define where they want to go. So I, I think it's very important to, to see this, that that learner that starts there is going to end up as somebody who's going to run and learn till the very end.